Are you ready for checkboxes? Last time we created a radio button to allow our users to make a discrete choice between being a student, a teacher, or an administrator. It's a discrete choice. Only They can only be one of the three. Checkboxes are different in that we can select more than one choice. So let's go back to our code in Text Wrangler and continue with our form. Let's add on to it transportation. And let's say we want to know what forms of transportation our viewer might use to get to our school. Assuming, of course, that we're a brick and mortar school. Okay, so I've got input type equals checkbox name equals transport value equals car and then let's go ahead and let's copy and paste that. So we'll give them a few choices. Do that uh, car. Let's give them a choice of bike. And motorcycle. Okay, now what we forgot was to put in our text so it would be visible to our user. Okay. Let's save this out and let's refresh our screen. Okay, now I can choose one, choose another, choose all three. How about that? More later, we'll take a look at how we can take this data that our viewer keys in and submit it back from the user's computer to our web server in our next podcast called Submit.